Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to do a declutter video. I'm going to do it a little differently. I feel like I'm going to do it more in a vlog so I'm just going to sit here, go through my products, chat with you guys while I get rid of products. Skincare, hair care, body products, perfumes, everything beauty. I'm sitting here on the bathroom floor, chilling, actually burn a candle back here and try to make it look a little cute. <laughs> But it's definitely a different um, angle than I normally do my videos in, but hopefully you guys like it. If you want to see me declutter a ton of beauty products, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start with this huge thing right here. This is a little thing that I have. It's not little. It's really not little. Just uh, a box that I have in my bathroom with a lot of um, extra beauty products. I have all my face masks in here. I have my self tanners, a ton of things, but I do actually have another box like this in my bedroom which I'm gonna go and grab after this but first we're gonna go through this one so um first thing I'm seeing is my favorite cream this is the um the body shop spa of the world Japanese camellia cream this is a very good cream it has like the best like whipped velvety consistency I love this I think I'm gonna start with some face masks so Ooh, this is gonna be hard. I feel like face masks is like, in my opinion, like the hardest thing almost because there's so many good ones, but I just don't have time to use all of these. I have some that I love, but now they're like drying up because I can't use them because I'm using all of my other things. I can't even use my favorites and that's not cool. So these two are pretty new. These are from Formula 1006 and they look like this and these are really nice. Honestly, I really like them both. I thought they were really fun. Uh, peel off masks, um, but I do need two of them. Uh, so far, I preferred this one, it just smelled amazing. Uh, this one was good too, but I just kind of preferred this one. Right here, I have all of the classic ones. Um, I don't have the orange one because I don't like that one, that burns the crap out of my skin. But I have all of the other ones here. I think I honestly have one use left of the Gravity Mud. So, this one I'm definitely going to use up. I actually used this one today. <laughs> so. I have almost probably half a use left of this one, so I'm definitely gonna keep this and just use up the extra product really soon before it dries out. Um, and then we have my favorite one from Glamgo, this is the Super Mud. This one you also need to use up before it dries out because this can also dry out pretty quickly. Um, so I am gonna keep this, I love it. This one, it was in my opinion very similar to the white one. The um, black one. So I think I'm just gonna keep this as well because I feel like it was pretty much the same Thing as the white ones. This is Glam Glow Thirsty Mud I know I'm keeping everything right now, but this is amazing You know I declutter a lot so I have like already gotten rid of like the things that I just don't use So these are all things that I like a lot. That's why it's really hard <laughs> But then I have this Glam Glow Dual Cleanse Treatment this one I think I'm just gonna get rid of because I just don't use it. I don't feel like I see that much of a difference when I use it. It's just not a mask that excites me. And I am gonna grab my other masks instead of this one. So I'm going to get rid of that. This is a newer one so I want to keep this. Only tried it once. This is Clinique Pep Start a Bubble Mask. Really really cool product and I liked it a lot when I tried it so I'm gonna keep that. I have the, the Body Shop British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. This was a pretty nice mask. It was, you know, it was okay and it definitely was a good mask. If I only had a few I would definitely keep it and use it and love it because I have so many ones I just don't reach for it. And I don't like the scent of roses, which I know is surprising. I know everyone loves the scent of roses, but I just don't. So I'm not sure how much use I'm gonna get out of this. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of this. This one is a hard one for me. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Iris More Mud Purifying Black Mask. I think this is a really fun mask to use because it is all black and I think it's really, really cool. So I think because of that, I'm gonna keep it. I know it's weird, but this one does not have any scent. And the weird thing is that I just I don't really understand this product because I don't feel like it really does anything. It kind of moisturizes a little bit, but it's a purifying mask. So honestly, I'm kind of confused about this one, but I think I'm just going to keep it a little bit longer, probably try it out more because I honestly haven't used it 
in a while. And then we have this The Body Shop Tea Tree 3 in 1 Wash, Scrub, and Mask. I think I've had this for almost two years now, so I think it might be time to get rid of it. This was a really nice mask, actually. This one reminded me a lot of uh, this one. Um, great dupe. So I totally recommend this, but it's just getting a little old and I just never reach for it. And then we have the Shiseido Purifying Mask. This one um, is a very expensive purifying mask. I just prefer my other purifying masks over this and I just don't feel like I see any difference. It's okay, but it's just not my favorite. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Then we have this mask. This one I haven't used in so long. This is from First Aid Beauty. This is the, um, what is it called? Instant Oatmeal Mask. And it smells amazing. I've just had it for a little too long, I feel like. I'm really weird when it comes to skincare products because I don't really like to have them longer than one year open. And it does say on the back of most skincare products to just keep them for one year. And normally with makeup, I keep it a little longer. But with skincare, I just feel like it's a little gross to have them a little like way longer so again I don't really reach for it so I don't see the point of keeping it this is good if you have sensitive skin if your skin tends to like burn off easily get really red and stuff this one is really good but it's just not a product that I need in my routine so I just kind of forget about it this one is really sad because this is one of my all-time favorite masks I've tried this is the Ola Henriksen truth sugar polishing mask I love this when you open it, it looks like like honey. Like, look at this. It's delicious. But I just, I couldn't find it for a period. And when I look at the back, it says it expires after six months. And I've had this for probably 14 months. So it's time to get rid of that one as well. So I actually got rid of half of my mask collection, which is very good. And you guys, you know, I love decluttering and I like to have a little collection of products and but you guys are not gonna believe me when you see this, okay? Look at my collection of masquerade sheet masks. How many? I know, I have an insane freaking collection of these but I love them and I have gotten these sent and that's so nice I buy these a lot myself as well so it's not just like I get them sent and I love them I buy these myself and I love them so when they found out that I love these that much they sent me a whole bunch of them and I want to keep them on and I know these won't get old because I know I will use them then I have these I have not tried them yet this is the mask bar Luminizing charcoal mask and then the brightening sheet mask and it's kind of weird because it seems like this is a sheet mask, but it is a peel off Cleansing mask, so it sounds a little scary. I think this is just a sheet mask and I want to try them out to see how I like them compared to the masquerade ones because I love those. When it comes to like self tanners, I have a lot of them and I mostly use a uh, loving tan love 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 bombing tans so i have two of the deluxe bronzing mousse i have the these look very freaking dirty so be aware of that but i have the ultra dark and the dark one and then i also have two oh i have the two hour express other two hour express and the dark one this one i like when i rinse it like i've used it up like there's nothing left of this so i think i'm just gonna and get rid of one of the two hour express ones i love those have just like the tiniest bit of the ultra dark left as well so i'm going to keep them all because i use them and i'm in love with them i also love the center play bronzing mousse and dark this one is very good as well i have my little like bin of skincare products that i use like every day standing actually right in front of me like with the sink but then i also have some products here that i don't use that often so i thought what should I do with these? Like I don't, I never reach for them. And this is very, very hard actually. I think one that I know I'm gonna get rid of because I just, I don't feel the need for it. This is from Avene, Aven, 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 I don't know. This is just their hydrating serum. I don't think I've used it honestly. I just don't feel like using it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just not interested. I'm gonna get rid of it. This sounds like an interesting product. I haven't tried it yet. This is a pore peel from Urban Decay. Pore refining peel, how crazy is that? I'm actually gonna try to put a little bit on my hand just to see how it is and 
wait 10 minutes and then peel it off to see but I think I'm gonna try it because it sounds pretty cool uh, but I just need to use it actually I have the, the Body Shop Oils of Life face oil this is very very nice oil but I do have my Bioterm Skin Best Serum which I use so much and that one's gonna take me so long to use up so honestly I'm not gonna finish that uh, oil until this one is getting old so I think I'm, I'm actually gonna get rid of this which is weird because I love it <laughs> It's from Emergency and it's called Peach Toner. This was very good um, toner. Only thing that annoyed me with this was the pump. Like, just look now. It just kind of shoots out. It's, it's it's pretty rough. So you can see I've used a lot of it. It is just like the pump here and that it's just not good. So that was very annoying because if it didn't have this annoying pump, I would probably repurchase it because I liked it a lot. Then we have the Lancome Visionaire. Crescendo uh, Peeling Night Peel or something. This is a treatment for your skin and you're supposed to use it uh, for 28 days. So this is a 28 day uh, skin treatment and when I used it, I really, really enjoyed it. Like I felt like the first step made a really huge difference in my skin. But then I started using this one and I didn't feel like it did that much. So I preferred like the step one side but I think I'm gonna use this another time like use one more like here I might do it I'm actually actually start with this one again because it was pretty good and I liked it a lot so I think I'm gonna burst this out and try it again because it's a while since I tried it this one I was looking for for a while this is from Declior this is the hydrofloral rich cream and this is one of my all-time favorite moisturizers I use this in the nighttime it actually says on the back you're supposed to use it in the morning but this is a very, very, very thick cream, like a very, very moisturizing. If you have dry skin and use this in like day and night, you are gonna get like the best skin. And when I, I bought this because it had like the best reviews. I've never seen so many amazing reviews on a skincare product. So I was like, I need to try this. And I totally see the hype about this. It's so good very very nice currently i'm using the bare minerals butter drench which i also love and that one is pretty similar to this one so i like this one just as much i'm going to burst it out again and use it together with my bare minerals one just kind of switch it up this is really hard this is the ola henriksen neutral me and this is how it looks like i love the scent of this and i really do like the cream and i would totally use the cream if it wasn't for me having a bajillion creams that i currently use oh it smells really good but i just never really get the time to use it and now i've oh six months it's only supposed to be last for six months i've had it for um not a year yeah i think i've had it for 11 months because of that i think i'm just gonna get rid of this so now now i finally have a reason to get rid of it because i really want to keep it then these products are really really hard these are the decli or aroma sense balm I have the young young and the neroli one the neroli one is the most famous one and this is the one that smells so good hydrating night balm and then the young young one is the purifying night balm so this one i bought because it's good for oily skin so i thought i would use this one in a t-zone than this one on my cheeks and around my nose but the thing it just turns out that these are a little too heavy on my skin and I love like thick like even oils on my skin I love it but I felt like these were just heavy I felt like I had like a mask of oil on my skin that was just kind of weighing on my skin it was not um, comfortable I might just have used too much. I don't know. I feel like I really can't get rid of them. I'm going to give them one last chance. And if I don't end up using them, I'm going to get rid of them, sadly. So now I just went into my room and I picked out all of my hair products. Uh, and I have it in this beautiful basket. So when it comes to hair, hair sprays, I have only three. So the one I'm currently using and really enjoying is the Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray. I really like this. It smells amazing. Oh, it smells amazing. I love bedhead products. They smell so good. And this one I've used for a while and then I just kind of forgot about it and I started using the other one. This is Hold Tight from Bangerhead. This is a pretty good hairspray, but I've had it for over two years, probably two and a half years. And uh, I just have a tiny bit left, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And then I have one backup. This one I've had for, I think, one and a half year. 
yeah. So it's nice to have a backup. When I use up this one, I start using that one. Okay, so dry shampoos. This is hard. So the one I'm currently using for dry shampoo is the Batiste um, Tropical one. This is my favorite one. If I could only use one dry shampoo for the rest of my life, it would be this one. Kind of like a weird childish packaging, but the, it smells amazing and the scent stays in your hair for the whole day. This one actually makes your hair look like it's clean. I love that. And then I have this one. I really didn't like that much. This is from Ian Thomas. This is this is the dry shampoo, which is not for me. I didn't feel like it did anything, so I'm going to get rid of that. I use this one a lot. This is the Extreme Volume Collab Dry Shampoo. I really enjoy this um, a lot. I love this. I use this more of a texturizing spray, the Extreme Volume version. So I use this more of a texturizing spray. I used it today because I just washed my hair. And when I just wash my hair, my hair is so flat, so I need to add a little bit of volume. And this one just kind of gives me gives me a little bit of volume so I really like this so I'm for sure keeping this and then I have one backup because Colab actually sent me their whole new line and I got a new of the extreme volume so I'm of course keeping that and then I also got all the other dry shampoos from Colab I have already given away three of these but I just couldn't I just couldn't get rid of it. These, these smell so good. And like when you get like a full line of dry shampoos, like what do you do? Like I want to keep them all. They're so cute, but I just can't keep everything that's cute. I think my favorite one is the Paradise one, this one. So I'm going to keep this as a backup um, dry shampoo. And then I also really like the fruity one. This one smells really good. And I don't need to keep more than two. So. Sadly, because these smell amazing, I'm going to give away the cherry and the uh, tropical one. Smells really good. I'm going to give them away to friends and family, so they are definitely going to get used, so don't, don't think about that. Then for heat protection, the only one, honestly, I've been really bad at using heat protection lately because I honestly haven't really uh, used any heat on my hair lately, honestly. Um, but if I do, I have normally used the banger head to protect my hair, but then I just open it up to smell it. Mm, it smells like when this is not old, it smells like amazing. It smells kind of like berries, very, very good scent, like a berry gum almost. It smells amazing, but I've had this um, for over two years, so I think I'm just going to get rid of it, and I want to start working on these ones or at least one of them i think i'm actually just going to keep one of them and if i have to choose one to keep out of these two it would be the ghd because i love the scent this one smells like a hair salon like when i spray this i feel like i'm at the salon it's it's amazing so this one gives me like the best feeling ghd style heat protecting spray I'm, I'm so excited to start using this. This one, i have not even used yet because I was just waiting to use this one, but then the other one came and I like that one more, and then I don't know what to do with this, but I think I'm just gonna give it to my mom. Oh, I forgot one hair uh, dry shampoo. This is the Banger Head Fresh Me Up. This is also just barely used. This one reminds me a lot of the Colab Extreme Volume. Really good. I really like these banger head products, uh, but they're just, I've had them for a long time. Now I have some miscellaneous hair products, I guess you can say. I have the John Thomas Shine Spray. This is my only shine spray and it is really pretty. Don't use too much of it, but if you just use a little bit, it's very nice. I'm going to keep this. I also have this Buron Axen Smoothing Cream Anti-Frizz. Uh, honestly, I just don't get any use out of it. When I have used it, I have really liked it. It's actually um, heat protecting as well. I don't know. I was thinking of getting rid of this, but when I think about it, it's a pretty good product. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this and actually start using this one when I have wet hair. I think I'm going to keep it in like the bathroom. And then we have this Lee Stafford Coco Loco um, coconut balm. This smells so good. I love the scent of these products from at least I've heard, like the Coco Loco line. But when do I use a balm in my hair? Never. It smells good though, so I think I'm just gonna give this to someone who wants it because I just don't use it. This is another John Thomas product. This is the Argan Oil 
hair treatment and I'm gonna keep this because this is my only hair oil and it's pretty good so I'm gonna keep that one so now I feel like I have a pretty good collection of hair products not too many just a very nice small collection and that makes me super happy so here you can see like the products that I'm going to get rid of some of these things are like all, like almost used up things that I'm just gonna get rid of and then of course these full dry shampoos I'm gonna give away to friends and family members who wants it so you know it's just oh this one I'm keeping what I'm not getting rid of that um but you know this is just a selection of products I'm gonna get rid of or the hair products that I'm currently using some um, backup hair products and then I'm going to kind of go through this and kind of sort it out a little better but these are the products that I am keeping not that many 